obviously a very tough week to uh, close losses will test one's resolve but we have great great character young men in that locker room no pity parties our resolve will be tested and they'll they'll pass the test they uh, they care and uh, they've been knocked down this week but they'll bounce back up and I'm confident of that. In the first half, I thought we were very sluggish offensively. Um, stood around a lot. That really contributed to us shooting a very low percentage. But in the second half, we, we, we moved much better and we got open shots and opportunities to the rim. We just didn't make those open shots and convert those opportunities to the rim. Um, once again, it came down to a timely stop and a timely shot, and uh, we came up short. Questions? Do you think the uh, Boston College loss carried over a little bit today? Uh, maybe they got a little nervous down the stretch when the game got real tight? No, I think it was just our inability to score. We're defending, we are getting some stops, and yeah, they missed some shots around the rim too, but we battled and competed defensively. I thought that, uh, again, we were, as I said, we were sluggish in the first half offensively, and, and in the second half, uh, we did a, a better job of moving and, and, and attacking, and, you know, case in point, 25 free throw attempts, we just didn't convert. I mean, we had some layup opportunities, and. You know, you're not going to win. Uh, we, you know, we, we were what uh, between three players, we were uh, uh, one for uh, 16. Not going to win a lot of games like that unless your defense is real, real special. What were you trying to get with 8.7 seconds left full court and then with 1.7 seconds? Well, with 8.7 seconds, uh, we we have a play and. We get the ball in CJ's hands and, and he's going to the rim strong, so we're aggressive with spacing. He had a player behind him, falling in behind him as, a, as an option, and he had a player in the baseline on the weak side corner as an option, and we had the, the spacing on for at the top of the key. If you watch the film, we had good spacing. Uh, he tried to make a pass to the weak side corner and it was deflected out of bounds, but we did what we wanted to do. It's something we work on and, and, you know, again, we got the ball to the basket and what options? With the ball in our seniors' hands. And then with 1.7. 1 1.7, we had an out-of-bounds play. Uh, we had options uh, for uh, Travis cutting to the rim. And, and really, the play was designed for Aaron Roundtree to go to the rim. And uh, they, they did a good job of covering everybody. And what, there was one player left open. And you know that was Devin. And he had a good look at it. But we wanted to go to the rim. Well, he, you know, he was able to take advantage of his size, his, his strength against uh, Aaron down low, and, and uh, you know, they took advantage of that. Did you like your defense for the most part down the stretch? Maybe the last minute? Well, I mean, you know, again, you know, we've got to do a better job not letting him catch it deep, and we, we discussed that, but we did let him catch it deep. And, you know, when, when, you, when you have a, a weight, uh, disadvantage down there, but you can use your length and, and front it and three-quarter drape it and make it a little tougher for it to get in. You just can't lay behind people uh, and then try and block the shot. It's not going to work in this league. And, um, you know, that's just, you know, learning the hard way, so to speak. But we, we, we got them to miss. We, you know, we just didn't come up with that loose ball there. We didn't. Yeah, I mean, you know, hey, you know what? Again, we lose 57, 56. You know, we, we held them to less than 40% shooting. Um, we out rebounded them. I'm looking at the stats here. I mean, we just needed to be a little bit more efficient offensively. But when you're, when, when, when you have a, 
you know, in the, the backcourt really, you know, struggling one for 16 with three guys. It, it, and I'm not, trust me, I'm not putting any, uh, this on anybody. We, uh, it's just that, it, you know, we just needed a couple more buckets. That's it. <laughs> Plain and simple. And we had our opportunities, especially in the second half with some open opportunities and some opportunities to convert at the rim. We got to do a better job of that. We, me as a coach, players, all of us, we. It's a we thing. I'm going recruiting tomorrow and Monday. Tomorrow will be a day off. Uh, Monday, uh, my staff will take the players and get individual workouts. And then Tuesday, we'll uh, practice together as a team at 3 o'clock. I'll be back. And then Wednesday's another day off. And I'll, I'm going to speak at a class here at Wake Forest and get on a plane and uh, go recruiting again. And then Thursday, we'll regroup and prepare for Miami. That's the schedule for the week. And I want to thank the fans. and. And once again, they were great for us. And uh, uh, trust me when I say that we have great character young guys in there. And they've been knocked down this week, but they'll rise again and give a great effort once again. That's who we are. Thank you.